Pop out a sailor man. Do do. Pop out a sailor man. Do do. Strong to the finish. Do do. When I eat me spinach. Do do. Cause I'm pop out a sailor man. It happened. Just now. My name is Vincent Douglas, and I have a very entertaining show for you today. I don't know about the NFL. Oh. WTF, obviously the Chicago Bulls. <laughs> hate the hate. Major League Baseball season this year. Oh. I'm just, and I'm shaking my head. <laughs> Fantasy baseball. IDK, NFL lockout. I just don't know what side I should take. Maybe let, let's draw a line. And I'm on both sides. Uh, players, owners, players, owners. Ah. Well, yeah. Because I'm on the owner's side when it comes with the rookie pay scale. Rookies getting paid all this guaranteed money and being unproven, hey, it just makes no sense. <laughs> it shouldn't happen. Owners have the right to say, hey, look, we're getting rid of this. Because these rookies, it caused this trickle down effect. And we know how good trickle down effects are. <laughs> You, you get this rookie to come in with this huge contract. He's sitting on the bench, but he's only going to sit on the bench for so long before the coach is forced to put him in the game and play him before his time. And he either cracks or he cracks. And then the next season or possibly later on in the season, he, he does what he do. Of course, there's an except, there, there are exceptions. There's always exceptions to rules. Since the beginning of time, yeah, I don't, man, that's not my rule. But then again, on the players, 18 games, I have to agree with the players on this one. 18 games. No way. Come on. Let's be real. If anything, cut the season down more so we can see our players possibly stay healthy for the majority or most part of the season. And it's not the fact that, oh, you know, uh, they was if they were going to get hurt, they were going to get hurt anyway. Yeah, sure. But when you play more games, that matters or that counts, you're putting yourself at, at risk more. Your risk of getting hurt or injured is higher. I mean, come on, it's football. Football, not, not soccer, no, no. Football, you have one guy, with the ball, you have another guy who is trying to hurt. Oh, wait, no, not hurt, but tackle the guy with the ball. Tackle him so hard that maybe he fumble, 
but the point is to hit him so he know he has been hit. So basically you have two objects coming together. I don't know, isn't that like Newton's something? I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. Hmm. Point is, players, owners, players, owners. What side should I take? WTF Chicago Bulls I know it's easy to look back and say hey you know guess what hey 10 years ago we won 61 games en route to the championship holding up trophy the next year we won 67 games trophies yeah <laughs> the next year we won 57 but it don't matter you know why <laughs> Trophy, trophy, trophies. <clears throat> That's in the past, though. That was 10 years ago when you started your run with the three peak, two years off, and then another three peak. Sure, you had Michael Jordan, Pippen, Phil Jackson. Yeah, now. Derrick Rose, Tom Thibodeau. It's the Chicago Bulls, though. Let's don't look in the past. Those six championships, yeah, that's good. But WTF? Really, WTF? Win the future, Chicago Bulls. Win the future. Win the future. I know it's good to look back. History. You know, history repeats itself. Every. So often, we'll say. Nah. You don't have to agree with it. So. Looking back in time, 10 years ago, when you won 61, you can do a repeat performance and win a title again. And then the next year and the year after next, three-peat. Then have Derrick Rose retire for two years or whatever. Then bring, then he come back when he realized that, hey, you know, I want to play basketball again. And you win three more titles. Yeah. And just make this uh, a, a 10 year kind of tradition, you know? Yeah. That's, how you can win the future. You want to win the future, don't you? Look forward. Look forward. H to H. Hate the hate Major League Baseball season. I mean, come on. The Yankees are being the Yankees again. I mean, why? Why even bother watching? 
I mean, it's not like baseball is not. short because it's long nine innings three plus hours a guy stepping in the batter's box doing his little rituals and stepping back in the batter's box do you really need to do all that? Or the third base coach? Shit. He's probably dancing. That stuff, it means nothing. But the season, this season, Nothing's happened. This should be a perfect. That should have been a perfect game by now. This should have been at least a no hitter. What about somebody hitting for the cycle? What about a pitcher striking out twenty batters? Twenty. None of this is happening. What happened to money buying you wins? Is this what we come to? To actually have to watch the game and have it be close? And have teams that nobody, no expert, gave a chance to be on top, on top. When teams that everyone ran away and picked and said it was going to win the division in last place, just what we've come to. I don't like it. I didn't sign up for this. This isn't. This isn't the Major League Baseball I grew up knowing. Money could buy you championships. Teams that the expert picked to win the division won a division from start to finish. There were no hitters. There were complete game shutouts. There were cycles. And what do we have now? The Colorado freaking Rockies with the best record. I can't do it no more. <laughs> I'm shaking my head at fantasy sports. <laughs> oh, wow. Sorry, but I, 
I don't play fantasy sports. Nah. My fantasy uh, wouldn't be about sports, actually. Nah. It wouldn't be about drafting players on my special team. I'm, I'm too much of a, a traditional fan, I should say. Yeah. I have a team I like. And I'm not going to... draft or have players on my team that I don't I don't like I can't see myself rooting for my team's rival player to do good just for a fantasy league. <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> so let me get this. You have your fantasy team or whatever, and you have your players on it, or however that works. I, I don't know. And you can possibly have people off other teams on your super team. Why not just be a fan of sports then? Why have a favorite team if you're just going to pick and choose or, or pluck players off different teams? Why? <laughs> and this is a fantasy? So the fantasy is being able to have all these star players or players on your team or whatever. They have something like that already. It's called an all-star game. Why don't you just root for the all-star team games that the picking is kind of done for you, but it's there. But to actually set up a league and have multiple people playing this uh yeah wow I just couldn't find myself not dr not picking up I couldn't find I wouldn't 
my team would be my team. Whatever team that I like, I would have all the players on my fantasy team. So it really wouldn't be a fantasy. It would be something called real reality, you know, like, This is my team. Ooh, wait, I can turn on the TV. There's my team. There are my players that play on the team. All right, let's try that with fantasy. Doop. Uh, there's a player. Ooh, there's uh, another one of my players. There's uh, another one. There's another one. In that case, don't have a favorite team. Just just root for everybody. Just root for the the, the league. Ah, uh, yeah, I like. I'd be like, I love the Yankees. I like the Twins, the A's, the Sox, the, the Rangers, the Angels. The athletics, yeah. Well, I said them twice, but whatever. You get the drift. So why even bother of having one special team when you play fantasy and basically all your teams are the team? Oh, fantasy's ruining sports fans. I'm shaking my head. Thanks for watching. You know what to do. Peace. Ow.